Hello, everyone, once again to another edition of the Your Trip is Short podcast. It's episode six. I'm your host, Eric Lucier. It's Thursday, November 12th. And if you didn't notice, you're around Burlington, Vermont, such as myself. We had a seven-day average temperature of 70 degrees when it's supposed to be 49. I've been wearing shorts more often than not, and it's been spectacular. But it's finally taken a turn back to what it should be, and that's chilly. And who knows when more snow is going to fly. We had a little bit last week, but it is gone. And I'm really enjoying this so far. If you haven't quite figured it out, it's another new podcast. But one, as I keep saying, involves music. All along, I truly thought this is what podcasting is meant to be about. And here it is. I think many people are going to jump on board pretty fast. Because face it. It's a great way to share music, and if you're someone like myself, you enjoy sharing music. You like listening to music, you like sharing music, you like discovering new artists, you like diving deep into artists that you know and appreciate, and it evokes memories. It evokes, hopefully, happiness, sometimes sadness, and I've been thinking through my head, where am I going to go? What's the direction I'm going to do? And I literally, most of the time here through these first five episodes, don't know what I'm going to play first until I hit stop on the break. And it's great. I can go from there. One of the things I always had a problem with in my radio shows past, heck, I would have this problem when I was wedding DJing. I wouldn't know what I was going to play next until like 30 seconds before a song ended. And there would be some uncomfortable silence every once in a great while. But more often than not, there was some seamless flow. But one of the beauties of the way the anchor system works here is you can press pause and then just load up the songs right afterwards and just load them right in. And it could take you an hour to program those however many songs you put in, but it seems seamless when you go back and listen to this. And I'm hoping that you've listened, you've come back for more, perhaps this is the first time you've heard it, but thank you very much for tuning in. Please, I don't know, what do you got to do? Like it, subscribe, do whatever it takes, share Because I'm going to keep doing this no matter what. I'm just going to talk. It's a little bit open-ended the second I open up the microphone, like it is with the music. Because I don't need to be pertinent. I don't need to be timely. I don't need to be funny. I just need to get enough out there, apparently, to allow Spotify to play some music with it. I had a episode five was rejected at first because apparently I didn't have a substantial enough batch of talking to go with the 10 songs. So I had to do some back selling at the very end, which is something I think I may actually do just to wrap up the podcast. And I'll tell you a little bit about the artists I end up playing at the very end of it all and maybe why I played it. But I'm really not sure what direction any of these are going to go. I like uh, throwing out their new music for you to discover. I was thinking about some deep dives into some particular artists or artists. Maybe we'll do like a couple like the other day was Smooth Hound Smith and the record company in one podcast. Yesterday was 10 new artists twice. The very, very first episode was Chris Stapleton, Sturgill Simpson and Tyler Childers. I've been a little bit all over the map, but I've already was thinking about, geez, I could do a whole episode with Wolfpack. I could do a whole episode with Jamiroquai very easily. Big Jamiroquai fan. Easy enough to do a whole episode with Fish. Of course, that's where this Your Trip is Short podcast name came from. We're going to go into that a little bit more on one of these future episodes. I could do a deep dive into the Beastie Boys. I've been fans of theirs since 86. So many artists, so many directions I could go. And the sky's the limit. I'm just going to take some time uh, that when I get it and throw down my introduction, play some music and just start getting this out there because maybe someone will tune in. Maybe someone will like it. And if no one does, no big whoop. I'm finally just getting some music out there and it's available content for you to absorb however you would like. Of course, you do need to have the Spotify premium. But as I keep saying, it's worth every penny. I used to spend fifty, seventy-five, a hundred dollars a week on CDs. Now, basically, all of those CDs are in my pocket, you know, to stream at any single time for fifteen dollars a month, perhaps worth every single penny. Now, the last CD I I bought was actually for a Christmas gift this year, and I only bought it because it was autographed. So. My CD collection still sitting behind me. They never come out. They never go into a CD player anymore because it's all through streaming. And that's the beauty of Spotify and Apple Music. 
and I'm loving it. I, it's worth every single penny of those $15. So I'm hoping maybe you'll enjoy my podcast enough that you'll actually want to throw down for those $15 just so you can hear these songs in full. So just some random thoughts on this Thursday afternoon, a little blustery, chilly Thursday afternoon here in Burlington. Um, excited for where this is going to go. If you have any suggestions, any comments, any feedback, feel free to drop me an email. Once again, your trip is short 2020 at gmail.com. My name is Eric Lucier. Thank you very much for tuning in. And remember, your trip is short. In the back. I thought I'd back sell this a little bit, make sure I don't have any sort of rejection from Spotify for not having enough music. Well, too much music, I should say, and not enough talking. So that last track you heard there was Turquoise doing Super Static. I didn't know where I was going to go when all of this started, but I did, uh, to start it off, I did do Jamiroquai after mentioning them. JK, of course, the uh, outstanding lead man for Jamiroquai. I've been fortunate enough to see them twice live on their supersonic tour back in 99, I believe it was. 98, no sooner. Saw them down in Boston and then up again in Montreal. Just outstanding stuff. Heard Cosmic Girl from Jamiroquai. Carl Denson, one of my most favorite horn players around uh, with the Stones now. He's one of the sidemen with the Rolling Stones. But Carl Denson, he's usually with his tiny universe, does some great stuff. Blows a great horn, of course, in the Grey Boy All-Stars originally doing Shake It Out after Jamiroquai. One of the greats that we lost this year, Toots. Toots and the Maytals doing Funky Kingston. Led me into a reggae hit real quick, and then we did Trenchtown Rock from Bob Marley and the Wailers. One of the great tunes from Paul Simon. I just can't get enough of it. Late in the evening, the song just makes you want to get up and move. Uh, followed that up with uh, a band that you're definitely going to be hearing more from on the Your Trip is Short podcast, and that's Deep Banana Blackout. All friends of mine from Bridgeport, Connecticut, originally started seeing them April 10th of 1998. Saw them dozens of times over a couple of years until they broke up. And uh, still to get together for some reunion shows, but not nearly enough. Love that band. Breakfasted Volos from Deep Banana Blackout. And then one of my most favorite hip-hop artists that around. I've fortunately seen them a time or two. And that's Jurassic 5. If you've never heard Jurassic 5, you'll be hearing more of them on this show, too. Love those guys. And I actually forgot that they're in the Scratch documentary. If you've never seen Scratch and you're a DJ hip-hop head, you got to see it. You can actually find it on YouTube if you just put in Scratch DJ uh, documentary. They're, the whole thing is up there on YouTube for free. But Jurassic 5 stars apparently in that. And it's been so long since I've seen it, i got to go back and check it out. But J5 doing quality control title track from their second release. Then some of uh, Burlington's homegrown, Burlington's own Belizbaha doing B to the E. Love that band. Got to see them many times, including a reunion show a couple of years ago in Stowe. You'll definitely be hearing more of them. Uh, Tower of Power. Tower of T.O.P. just lost their bass player recently. Uh, one of the great artists uh, that we've lost during 2020. Seems like every time you turn, it's another uh, great one. But uh, What is Hip from T.O.P., Tower of Power, Deep Banana Blackout used to cover that tune. And then, of course, we ended right there again with Turquoise and Super Static. So I hope you enjoyed that spontaneous set. Meant to uh, pick up the pace and put a little funk in your junk on this Thursday afternoon. I uh, hope it picks up your day if you're perhaps a little bit down. I'm hoping you're enjoying it. If there's something you want to hear on the show, hey, drop me that line. Your trip is short2020 at gmail.com. Tell your friends, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. It's Eric Lucier. Your trip is short.